In this century, we are presented with incredible opportunities unknown to previous generations. How will we utilize new art forms, media, and technology to advance the cause of reaching the last unreached people? The vast majority of unreached people are oral learners. Imagine compelling evangelistic movies, art, and animation being made for specific unreached people. Gospel media in their heart languages, with their own people, using stories they can relate to. Indigenous audiovisual gospel presentations of media that combines visual and audio arts with a culturally relevant presentation of the good news in a heart language and style that is relevant to a people. It's been 2,000 years. We've gone from preach, where we've added the ability to print, and now we live in the age of portray. So we are part of the generation who was able to communicate Christ and his kingdom in a way that is captivating, it's engaging, it's visual. The least reached peoples, the most isolated peoples increasingly are having some access to media. And so it's our opportunity to take media to them, creating content with and for and by the people that we will be reaching. We've seen indigenous media created, and we just need others who can join in and help us finish this very significant task. Sadika. Sadika. We'd like to greet you from Chiang Mai, Thailand. We're excited to share with you some resources about media so that you can see your ministries enhanced, accelerated, and even developed further. You're all doing a wonderful job. We're hearing great reports. We're catching up some of the online um, reporting, but we just want to come alongside and offer some of the resources we found around the world to see if you can see how they can be used in your ministry. So it's a short time. We're just going to give you glimpses into a number of different ministries, but then later we'll give you websites that you can go back and see the different tools that then you can incorporate into your ministry. Some of you might be aware uh, that we've been doing what we call the 2020 vision campaign uh, as actually part of what we're doing out of the IFML team to share resources and to see new resources developed for unreached peoples. So we're going to start by showing you a little bit about the 2020 vision. The 2020 vision basically is based on this particular uh, goal or this um, mission statement. And that is to see an indigenous evangelistic audiovisual tool for every one of the least evangelized mega peoples. That's unreached peoples or least evangelized peoples of the least reached peoples of the world that have a population of a million or more. So that all can clearly see and understand the gospel message and embrace it as their own. So this was the call that we sent out 10 years ago, almost 10 years ago now in Japan uh, at a large conference that we were asked to, to share and roll out this uh, campaign. And we challenged the body of Christ, especially mission agencies that work in the area of media, you can have an impact on the unreached peoples of the world. And uh, we're so excited that many people um, actually came on board with this campaign. We had about, we have right now about 55 different mission agencies that are all working together with us to see indigenous gospel media made for each of the least evangelized mega peoples. And uh, they asked us to facilitate this campaign. And so we did websites. This particular uh, website here is our, is our main website for distributing our media in digitube.tv. And uh, it has on it many different resources. And this is not just uh, Creative International's uh, evangelist films, but all the films that all the different member organizations have put together as a part of this campaign. So we have now over 700 gospel films. We have the audio Bible in 1,300 different languages. We're getting about 16,000 visits to the website per month, tens of thousands download. At last uh, look, last statistics, uh, we have about one terabyte of media that's being downloaded every month. So we're pretty excited that people are using that. Also, to make it easier for people to get a hold of these resources, we started our own app. We created our own app. 
and you can find that at createapp.mobi. You can download it for free on either you, um, uh, the Android, uh, Google Play, or uh, iTunes, whichever uh, mobile device you happen to be using. And this is what it looks like when you come into it. You're able to actually see on the left-hand side, you can do a search, type in a language or a people group name, and the film will films will come up for that language group. And you'll see a little bit in the center there of the film and uh, an explanation of it. You can play it there and watch it uh, for free, of course. Everything's for free. Or you can download it right to your device as well. So we're pretty excited about these resources and how they're being used. Also, you might be aware that there's a new device out, a new Wi-Fi device called the Lightstream Pocket. Uh, on one charge, it'll last for 10 hours. You can put all your media, any of the media on our website, you can put on it, it's made for it. And once you turn it on, you can broadcast the signal to about 100 meters in every direction. Any device that has Wi-Fi can link to it and actually watch the gospel films right there. And because you're not linked to the internet, it's a standalone device. There's no way to track it. So you can use it anywhere and no one knows where the signal is coming from. So we're committed to using the best technology that's out there and getting that out to reach unreached peoples. So how do we get our information today? This is a little bit of a funny picture, but it shows you the contrast of how we got how we got information, our information, and how we get our information today. You can see at the top, uh, you know, people are using their mobile devices. This is what's happening. This is the revolution that's happening all over the world. And prior to this time, you know, media maybe was a specialization. It was something only for people who had money, the wealthy, uh, those who were trained specially. But now, actually, all of us can be media producers. And we take our media with us, don't we? Everywhere we go, we, we have our media with us. Oftentimes we'll tell people, are you using your mobile device for evangelism? And they'll say, oh, not really. And then we'll ask them, oh, well, do you listen to music or watch movies on it? Oh yeah, every day. Well, then we say, well, why, why aren't you sharing the gospel with it? Oh yeah, I guess I should. And, and these are the latest statistics on the internet. We've got 7.75 billion people in the world. Over 5 billion of those people have mobile devices. This is, this is what we're talking about. This is the world we live in today. Not tomorrow, not in 10 years, but today. And you, you, know, you might not have a camera or expensive equipment, but guess what you do have in your pocket? You have a mobile phone. And this is what we're excited about seeing used and developed. Uh, almost. Oh, four and a half, almost five billion people on the internet using the internet. And those that are using the internet, look, 50% or more of them are actually using social media. And this is very, very key to what we're going to be talking about and different strategies that we can begin to adopt. YouTube is an amazing social media tool. Many of us watch YouTube movies, and we probably even have a YouTube account. And you'd be surprised how many people have a YouTube account. We'll look at the stats coming up. But we started to get excited about this several years ago when we realized, hey, we can actually reach out to unreached peoples putting our gospel films on YouTube. And we started to do that, and we've been doing that for a while, and, and, and reaching tens of thousands of people. And so that's pretty exciting to us. Uh, but we realized, wow, look how many people are actually on YouTube. Every month, there's 2 billion users every month on, on YouTube. And if you look at the, the, the center one, I want you to focus on that. Every day, people are watching 1 billion hours of YouTube movies every day. This is incredible. And the growth of this is phenomenal. And so anybody who's serious about using the internet uh, for, for the gospel needs to be using YouTube. We know that for sure. 
So we have started to see something new, a new phenomena that we hadn't seen before. And that is a number of our indigenous workers, the folks that partnered with us on these films, have taken the film and put them up on their own YouTube account, which is exciting. But we began to notice, oh my gosh, they're getting 10 times the views that we're getting on our websites, uh, on our uh, YouTube account when we put the films up. We began to realize what's happening is the algorithms, these little programs, these little you know, uh, artificial intelligent bots that uh, YouTube has created, Google has created, to actually drive traffic to the films. They're looking for people who speak the language, who live in that area where that film was produced or where that language group is. And then they prioritize the driving of the traffic to that account. And uh, so we began to see this is the reason why they're getting huge numbers. In fact, one that uh, you will be showing you coming up, uh, which is very exciting about the Banjara people in India. We noticed when we first uh, saw them, as you can see down in the lower left hand, or right hand side here, uh, he had almost 800,000 views. And we thought, oh my goodness, this is, this is amazing. I think we've really stumbled on something. And so what we're starting to do now is we're going to make a specific effort to every time we're doing a new gospel film, we have those folks that we're working with on the field from that people group put the film up on their YouTube account. And we know we're going to see exponential growth of, of views. Uh, we wanted to show you this short little video about TWR Motion, which is a new arm of TWR, the radio ministry, and they're utilizing YouTube and media on the internet as well. Congratulations. You, my friend, are watching one of the more than 16 billion videos that will be viewed today online. 16 billion. So who exactly is watching these videos? The answer is everybody. You see these countries popping up. Each of these countries claims YouTube as its number one or number two most visited website. In fact, these countries make up almost 80% of the unreached population on Earth. All over the world, people live their whole lives without ever meeting a Christian or even hearing about the gospel, but they are pulling out their phones and watching billions of videos. The truth is, YouTube is reaching places on Earth that the gospel isn't. So let's do something about that. Introducing TWR Motion, a different sort of missions work for today's different sort of missions field. We want to assist the church to reach their world for Christ by visual media, their new connected social media crazy world. Young people all over the planet are pulling out their phones and looking beyond their villages, beyond their families, beyond their religions for the very first time. And we want the gospel to meet them right there. TWR Motion builds on the 60-year foundation of Transworld Radio. This legacy of media missions allows TWR Motion not just to produce and distribute content, but to help bring the unreached from doubt to decision to discipleship. So let's reach a new generation of unreached people groups. Let's put Christ in front of their eyes. Let's put hope into their hands. Let's put the gospel on display.